Okay, so um, I guess the duodenum is the first part of the small intestine, directly connects to the stomach via the pyloric sphincter. And then next is the jejunum, which is somewhere around here, but he said you want to be tested on it again because it's really hard to find. And then you have the ilium, which is also hard to find, but that'll be what directly goes into the ascending colon. Um, and that is visible by all these like ridgy areas, so that's how you notice the ascending colon. Um, I guess because they need plants, so they need more surface area to digest. Uh, and then this big kind of like bag thing right next to the ascending colon is going to be the cecum. So that's this whole chunk. Uh, and then same thing, transverse colon is hard to find, so don't worry about it so much. But the descending colon is going to be right here. Um, and there's actually a poop in there, so you, know, <laughs> so you can kind of tell. And then the rectum will be here, and then obviously the anus is the poop. Um, yeah, and then the gallbladder is this um, kind of deflated green thing right there. Um, so it's just on the underside of the liver. And then the pancreas, he said, it's kind of weird in rabbits because it's not like a specific organ, but it'll be like these type of like tissue aspects in the mesentery around like the intestines and stomach and stuff. The same with the salivary glands, just like know about them. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's that. Um, oh, other mesenteries, I guess. The um, greater momentum is um, like under the stomach and up this part here. And then the mesorectum is going to be also on the back, but that's like underneath the rectum there. Um, and then, yeah, again, the mental mental bursa is this like frilly thing on top of the stomach of uh, tissue um, and then the lesser momentum again was between the quadrate and the stomach and then yeah I'm not sure about the classical